Hey, what's up? This is Marcos. Today, I just want to show you my home desk setup. This is something I built myself because I couldn't quite find what I wanted, the dimensions uh, that fit my workflow. So I made it myself. I went to Lowe's mostly and I bought the wood and the, the steel legs and, and I <laughs> sanded down the wood and stained it and, and put polyurethane and I cut the pipes and all that stuff. Uh, I'm not going to walk you over how to make it. Uh, there will be videos that I looked at on that I grabbed the inspiration from. So if you want to check them out, they'll be in the description. Um, basically, what I wanted out of desk is to have more depth. Most of the desks that were available online or in the stores were only like 32 inches. But I needed to separate my two screens from my face because my eyes, I felt like it was too close. My eyes might hurt. I just need that extra separation. I also wanted it to be extra long so I could fit more stuff. Um, so this is the reason I went with this. You know, I really wanted something that I was proud of, that I could walk in here. As you may or may not know, I'm a full-time freelance cinematographer. As much as I love filming, this is where I spend the majority of my time. I'm answering emails, looking at proposals, uh, looking at storyboards, scripts, or just uh, invoices and all the clerical stuff. This is where, you know, I have to grind basically to get to do the fun stuff, which is the filming. Uh, so let's get to it. Let me walk you over all the parts I'm using, every, everything. Um, you know, first of all, as you see here, this blue mat is what's covering the wood frame. I wanted something, a smooth surface in case I'm writing or whatever I might be doing. Also, it just gives it a nice clean look to it. Uh, just full disclaimer, this, this product, some of these were uh, sent to me by Grovemade. Uh, like this mat or this, this uh, mouse pad, which actually holds a pencil. This is nice. Uh, these are all products by Grovemade. I've been using it over two months, so I feel very confident in recommending them just because I love them and I wouldn't make this video or even include them if I didn't think so. I plan actually to use this blue mat backdrop as uh, for, for product photography or video stuff. It just looks beautiful. And I know for even creating thumbnails for this channel, I'll probably be, you probably see this a lot. And I picked this color myself because, you know, it goes with the walls, right? It's Pretty much almost identical. Uh, next thing is, I guess, this this tabletop that holds the two monitors and it brings it to eye level, you know. And again, it's very minimal and clean. It has sh a shelving here to put hard drives. I mostly focus on, I have to back up footage even when I'm shooting, even though I'm not editing as much nowadays, I still have to keep backups or well, actually when I am editing, I, I need to keep everything here. So I mostly focus around backing up footage and editing. That's how I like to organize my stuff. As you see here, this little shelf also by Grovemade. Uh, here this is where I keep most of my CFast cards, SD cards, uh, SSDs, uh, hard drives, all the media. And that way I can quickly access them. Uh, and you just tuck them back in out of sight. Also, brought the wires down here like my CFast card reader and also have different um, USB-C for plugging in my SSDs so when I'm I do have to edit it's all down there also another shelf for hard drives uh, Scarlett 2i2 for when I am having to put on headphones uh, yeah so I'll, sometimes I instead of playing the audio out of the computer I can use the focus right 2i2 still works great and uh, down here is where I keep my weekly planning schedule. I made a whole video about how I stay productive. So definitely want to check it out. There'll be a video here somewhere. And I use the, the pencil that I keep here and then I just store it away and constantly drawing notes and making changes whenever I, I need to, you know, things happen all the time. And the next thing is, I love this. Also by Grovemade, it holds my iPad. I mostly use this when I am loading scripts onto the teleprompter app on my iPad or I'm answering emails or whatever, or I'm loading maybe a storyboard or something that I can take with me whenever I'm on set or if I'm taking pictures with this, I can quickly pull them up. 
Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm using this for multiple reasons. And, you know, when having when you have a stand like this, you can just multitask faster in case I'm transferring files or, or like I said, loading scripts onto my iPad, looking at the emails and, and just copying over to my to the app on my iPad. So, you know, that's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. And then I guess just the, the mouse pad and the, you know, the keyboard uh, holder. You know, just as nice aesthetics brings it all together. And uh, last thing I forgot to mention here, uh, pencil holder. Can't forget that in case you need to sign something or whatever you need to do, you just uh, quickly access that. Uh, one thing you don't see underneath is I have a cable management strip thing. That way you don't see any wires hanging. That's one of the things that makes your desk look pretty messy when Ever I see desk is just all the wires hanging and now it looks like a mess. So I, this is the first time I said, I'm, I'm gonna walk in here, I'm gonna keep it clean and, and I'm gonna be proud of my desk. So you only see one wire down running down and that's a power strip that's running to the wall outlet down here. You know, I highly recommend that, uh, you know, to take the very, uh, I guess, detailed with all these little things, especially the wires. And so that's my desk, you know, if you're interested in any of these products, I actually just got this monitor. What I end up doing a lot of times as well is, let's say I'm exporting a project or doing something here, you know, backing up footage. I might bring out my laptop and connect it to this monitor. That way I can edit off of here. Actually the MacBook Pro M1 that I just bought, sometimes it's faster than this 2017 iMac. So. You know, a lot of programs are being uh, made to work faster with the M1 chip, and I found that to be true. So I often bring my laptop here and connect it to this monitor. That way I can edit off of it of a big screen instead of a 13 inch. So that's, that, that's uh, you know, once you look at bigger screens, it's, like, it's kind of hard to go back to a, a smaller screen. So. Uh, that's another great thing about having a high quality monitor like this. So if you're interested in any of these products, uh, there'll be links in the description. If you end up purchasing with those links, it helps me out. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Uh, you know, the, the your support is greatly appreciated. That, that way I can make more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. As always, I appreciate you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.